accumulated rainfall. We have to calculate the rainfall for first hour, second hour, and then your third four hours. The time versus your rainfall intensity, and then your this is accumulated rainfall, and this is rainfall for first four hour, first four hour, then. Second four hour and at last third four hour. We have to calculate the rainfall in for first four hour, second four hour, and then for last third four hour. The questions given is zero hours, four hours, eight hours, and your twelve hours. The intensity of rainfall is zero in zero hour. Uh, Five in fourth hour, five point eight in eighth hour, and twelve in eight point eight hour. So the rainfall intensity in first four hour is this minus this. This is your rainfall intensity in first four hour. Then in second four hour, uh, we have moved from zero to four. Then from four to eight, the rainfall intensity is five point eight minus five. This is your point eight. And then last uh, last third. For that, from eight to twelve, the rainfall intensity is eight point eight minus five point eight. This is calculated as to be three point eight centimeters in first four hour. First four hour, we have calculated calculated five centimeter, and the second four hour, we have calculated the rainfall intensity is point eight centimeter, and the rainfall in last four hour is three point eight centimeter. First, then we have to calculate runoff for first four hours. Runoff for or runoff means effective rainfall. Runoff or runoff is also known as effective rainfall. The runoff for first four hours, first four hours is calculated by the simple formula P minus Y T, where P is the precipitation. Phi is the phi index that is your infiltration capacity, and T is the time interval for uh, for the uh, for the uh, duration for which rainfall has occurred. The the precipitation we obtained from the first four hour it is uh, unit it is five centimeter. The phi value given is point two five centimeter per hour, and the time interval is four hour duration. Four hour. The runoff we get is in first Suppose it is denoted by R one, the runoff we get is it is four centimeter. Meanwhile, for second rainfall runoff for second hour, second four hour duration, by simple formula we get P minus phi t, where P we got is point eight and phi is point five and T R is four. So the we got negative value point two, hence it is neglected and it can be equal to your zero centimeter. We did not get any runoff in the second four hour duration. Then for suppose second hour is duration by R two, and the third runoff <coughs> for third four hour duration is given by. Same formula P minus phi t, where phi is in your infiltration indices or capacity uh, infiltration indices in centimeter per hour. It is given in the question. T is the duration of time in hours, and P is in centimeter. The precipitation we got is 3.0 minus 0.25 into 4. The answer we obtained is 2 centimeter. The suppose it is denoted by R3. Three values. That is effective run, uh, rainfall. R one is equal to R one. That is your four centimeter. R two is equal to zero centimeter, and R three is equal to your two centimeter. This is direct runoff depth (DRD). Direct runoff. Depth we have calculated from the given rainfall intensity. 
this is DRD1, this is DRD2 and this is DRD3. For obtaining a flood hydrograph from a given, a given duration unit hydrograph, the flood hydrograph obtained uh, of same duration, uh, we have to obtain, first we have to obtain the DRD. We have got obtained the DRD that is from the rainfall intensity. Uh, unit hydrograph ordinates multiplied by DRD which gives you DRH. This DRH is direct runoff hydrograph and this combines with base flow will give your flood hydrograph ordinates of same duration. Suppose here it is given that the ordinates for unit hydrograph are given as 4R unit hydrograph ordinates. It is multiplied by the DRD calculated for different intensity. Rain, the rainfall intensity given is for different. We have calculated rainfall uh, We have calculated DRD that is a direct runoff depth for different rainfall intensity. From this, we have got the DRS that is a direct runoff hydrograph. And by combining by adding direct DRS with your waste flow, we will get flood. Hydrograph. This is the important sutra for solving any unit hydrograph question to forming a flood hydrograph. Suppose we have to obtain a unit hydrograph from a flood hydrograph. First, the infiltration losses were there, then our uh, the rainfall intensity increases. Then we have obtained this peak, this peak due to increase in rainfall. Then at a at a point, uh, at a certain time, it reaches a peak where we get this peak discharge, QP. And after the end of the rainfall, suppose this is the time duration for rainfall. Let's go short. Let's go cut it now. Now we solve the questions. We have obtained the ordinates of DRS. Then multiply these ordinates. Into the unit hydrograph ordinates. First, write the ordinates R1 U, then R2 U, and then your R3 U. The combination of the summation of these R1 U plus R2 U plus R3 U will give your DRH and DRH plus base flow, base flow, it gives the ordinates of flood hydrograph. The given value for R1 is 4 cm, 4, this is your 0 and this is your 2 cm. R1 you 4 multiply by 0 will give 0. 4 multiplied by 20 will give ordinates 80, then 240, 600, 480, 360, 280, 200, 120, 80, 40, and 40. These are the ordinates when multiplied, ordinates of unit hydrograph when multiplied with DRH, will give, uh, multiplied with DRD will give the ordinates of direct runoff hydrograph. Again, the second intensity of uh, uh, 0 cm is lagged by 4 hours. Then we have to lag the, our hydrograph, ordinates of unit hydrograph by 4, uh, four hours. Plus it starts from this uh, 4 hour duration, second 4 hour duration. Then we have to multiply, uh, this is the ordinates. Then, when we have, then we have to multiply the ordinates of our second intensity 0 cm to the ordinates of your unit hydrograph ordinates. For zero intensity, this whole becomes zero. Zero multiplied by any unit will give you zero. Value. Then for third, R3 value given is two centimeter. It will be lagged by eight hours as the rainfall intensity is obtained after eight hours. Then, first, then we like for first four hours we like, then second four hours we like, then third four hours, 
we have to then uh, we have to multiply our 2 cm DRD with the ordinates of given unit hydrograph 2 multiply by two, uh, 0 will give 0 2 multiply by uh, 20 will get 40 then your 120 300 and then 240 180 and then 140 100 60 40, 20, and 0. As our rainfall is led by 8 hours, then the from 44th hour we have to reach to 52nd hour. For calculating the DRH, we have to add these three values, then we got the summation DRH for whole given ordinates of unit hydrograph. For example, 0 uh, plus 0 plus 0 will give 0, then 80 plus 0 and plus dash will give you 80, 240 plus 0 will give 240, 600 plus 40 will give you 640, 480 plus 120 will give 600. 660, 520, 380, 260, 1 second. 